Hey guys, it's been a while since I did my NAS tutorial, but today we're going to move on to tutorial 2.1. So the previous eight tutorials were tutorials 1.1 to 1.8, and these deal dealt with the very basic fundamental concepts of Cinema 4D, basically some things to get you started. Now the next few videos, which will always start with either 2.1, 2.2, basically chapter 2 of the Cinema 4D tutorials. These tutorials will deal mostly with modeling tools and modeling concepts, shortcuts, and basically how everything you um, will get into more detail on specific ways to model and design objects. So today we're gonna spend our time discussing the tools of extrude and inner extrude. Now here's a little review to get us started. So in some of my previous tutorials I showed you that these little orange buttons, these little orange squares that pop up whenever you create a cube or new object, they can basically extend one side of the object. So this side extends the x dimension, this side the y dimension, and this side the z, no this side the y dimension, this side the x dimension, and this side the z dimension. And also we learned that once you make an, make an object editable by clicking this button, you have more freedom in modifying its individual points, edges, and sides. And we also learned that you can select additional sides by holding down shift and clicking on sides. And you can also delete individual sides by holding down control and clicking on the side you want to delete. So today we are going to, I'm going to introduce you to two tools. The first tool is the extrude tool. Now to get there, you to get the extrude tool you go to mesh, um, create tools, and extrude. Now basically what extrude does is it takes, it stretches out an individual side of the cube or any other object and it basically you can basically extend that side however much you want and with these extensions and then you can modify these individual extensions so to show you what you mean I'm gonna first let's say we have this side selected we want to extrude out this side so I, what I do is basically I click on that side and I move my mouse to the right to extrude it outwards, and I move my mouse left to extrude it inwards. Now, let's say I extrude it outwards, and I have it to a certain length, and I want to extrude it to this certain length. Then when I'm done, I just let go, and now it has been extruded to the length I want. If I want to extrude it out again, I just click on it again, move it to the right again, and there I have extruded it once again. Now, the difference between the extrude tool and the little orange squares at the beginning was that the little orange squares, they cannot subdivide this cube into different parts with, with the extrusions. They, um, when you stretch a side out with the little orange square buttons, uh, the, the only thing that's extended out is the individual side. It doesn't create any subdivisions, but as you can see with the extrude tool, we have created individual faces from each side of the cube with each extrusion. With the little orange square buttons, this this entire thing would still be only one side, would still be only one face. But with the extrude tool, we've created multiple faces, like basically one on each side for each extrusion. Now, the extrude tool also has a shortcut key. And so a shortcut key is basically one simple key you can press on the keyboard to bring out, to start using that tool. So if I want to click on the select tool to get extrude, to get back to the extrude tool, instead of going all the way up here, mesh, create tools, extrude, I can basically press D and I will 
that will be I'll be using the extrude tool again. So D is the shortcut key for the extrude tool. So that's a very nice quick way to get out the extrude tool. Now also the extrude tool can also be used for multiple sides. Say I want to extrude opposite sides. If I press D, I select the face and I extrude out. Now also here's a little caution when you're using the extrude tool. When you're using when you're selecting a face and you're starting to extrude it, make sure you click on the face itself, the side itself, and not the arrows. If you click the arrows, it will just may basically extend out. It won't be the same as extruding. You have to click on the side and drag it out to extrude it. Now, the other one, the other two I want to show you is called. Let me see. It's called the inner extrude. So, to, so to get the inner extrude, you go to Mesh, Create Tools, Extrude Inner. And what Extrude Inner does is basically, it it basically instead of extruding it outwards, it basically narrows or extends the face of the sh of the side you want to connect to. So to illustrate what I mean by that, I'm gonna I'm gonna use Inner Extrude right here. I'm gonna click on this face. As you can see, it basically narrows the face down or extends the face outwards without actually extending it out, without actually extending it um, forwards or backwards. It just extends it extends it inwards or outwards. Basically, narrows it or enlarges it. And what you can do with an extrude is say you want to make this narrower, just narrow it down. And then you press D for extrude, and then you can ex just extrude that little, that narrow side out. So that is basically the main function of an extrude. And basically, just like the extrude tool, you can use an extrude on multiple faces or sides. And the shortcut key for an extrude is I. So shortcut key for extrude is D. Shortcut key for an extrude is I. So when I press I, this I'll be using the inner extrude tool. So these are the two tools I want to show you today, and I'm gonna wrap this up with a brief demo or of how you can create basically interesting visual objects by the extrude and inner extrude tool. So I'm gonna to make this editable. I'm gonna select use my select tool to select all six sides I'm gonna go I'm gonna start using my tools I'm gonna it first of all I'm going to extrude these sides outwards so notice when I use the extrude tool because I have all six sides selected, all six sides are extruded outwards. And the great thing about the extrude tool is all six sides extrude outwards. They don't all extrude in a single direction. Like all, not all six sides extrude out, upwards. They all extrude simultaneously outwards from their own direction, which is pretty nice. Then I'm going to in-extrude it down, nail the base. Then I'm going to press D again. Extrude it out once again. Hold on, I pressed it. Okay, let's see. There we go. Wanted to avoid the middle arrows, so I had to choose a side that didn't have these arrows in the way. So anyways, now I'm going to extrude these, in, in extrude these outwards once again. And then I can base, and also something I can do is, no I don't want that. Okay, now I'm going to extrude these outwards once again. Then press I for a middle in extrude, then press D again for our extrude. 
Then press I again for middle and extrude. And then press D again. Now this time I'm going to extrude it inwards, not outwards. So as you can see, you can also extrude these things inwards after you've inner extruded them to get a kind of like a little hole. So with in extrude, with both in extrude and extrude, I've managed to make this interesting object using just the tools, just these two tools, in extrude and extrude. So that's a basic idea of what you can do with these two tools. So if you would like, just go ahead and you know, make some, try some, try making some objects of your own with these two, two tools. So that's about it. So yeah, that is today's tutorial. Hope, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll probably do my next tutorial in a few weeks, so keep your eye out for that. So that is it for today. Thank you so much and have a great day.